Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen. I'm a lifestyle vlogger, mother of two boys, and I just moved into a new house, and like yesterday, <laughs> um, and I just had to stop at Walmart and get a few things, and I thought we'd just have like a random Walmart haul, very random. So I'm actually back at my old house right now to pick up my cats. We didn't bring them yesterday because doors were open, tons of people were there, which would have petrified poor oliver he is the biggest scaredy cat and banjo tends to get aggressive with people he doesn't know or if there's too many people in the house and he also doesn't like my mother-in-law which is very random loves my dad though who is not a cat person at all but he loves banjo back so <laughs> they're like they're like that but anyway Banjo's a little unpredictable when we have a house full of people. Oliver's a scaredy cat and it just wasn't a good time to introduce them to a new environment. So quiet house today. All the big things have been moved in. Um, I am going to pick up a few things here today. Not that that matters. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the cats and bring them over. But I needed to get a few things for them. Um, like new litter boxes and stuff like that. Because I'm not hauling out dirty old litter boxes. They're going in the trash. We're just going to start over with fresh ones. So, let's go ahead and have a little haul. A lot of it is cat related. Some of its clothing is kind of random. So, the first thing here, and I have to insert like a clip of it, is this special kitty odor control fresh scent tight clumping cat litter. It sounds like something off Wish. <laughs> it's um like the Walmart brand litter. We normally get tidy cats, and I've always gotten like those big jumbo containers that are like 35 pounds and like they're non-clumping and I always got those because they keep the odor down and they're not very expensive. Um, I think they're like so about $14 or so. Um, also side note, those giant plastic storage containers that the litter comes in are fantastic for storing pet food and sidewalk salt. Just throwing it out there. But when I was at the store today, I seen they had this special kitty litter. And I don't know if I just never noticed it before. Because, like, cat litter is not a fun thing to buy. I just go in and I grab something and I go home. Like, you know, I'm not like, woo, cat litter. You know, I I've, I haven't really shopped. I've had my cats for, like, seven-ish years now. And, like, I've kind of stopped shopping around for their stuff. I just grab what we use and go. So today I was actually, like, looking through the aisle because I wanted to get clumping litter. Because at the old house, the litter box was in the basement and like i just picked it up and poured it into the trash and that was it new house i'm not gonna have a designated trash can next to the litter box for the litter because i don't have the space for it uh, so i don't know if i'm gonna have to put it in a bag or like how it's all gonna work but i figured clumping litter would probably be the best way to go so we're gonna give this a try if you guys have ever tried it let me know we use this brand for their cat food and we've done that for years and it's they love it and they're healthy and whatever so let me know if you guys have used this kind of um litter before so then i also got them a new cat scratcher and this is the kind that hangs on the back of a door if you guys can see that's like hung on a doorknob so i thought we'd give that a go they have another one that's kind of like this and just lays on the floor which i need to bring today as well but this will give them an extra scratcher plus now we have like two-story house so uh getting them like a scratcher for both levels probably a good thing i also need to get the water bottle you remember this stuff i need to get the water bottle because now we're gonna have to work with them all over again on like things they can and cannot do <laughs> okay big old bag of what is that sound do you guys hear that semi truck maybe big old thing of bananas figured the kids would like that we still need to go grocery shopping and do like a really big grocery shop because we haven't gone grocery shopping in almost a month now. We've just got little things here and there because we knew we'd have to move all of our food to the new house. And like, let me tell you, even with everything we had have eaten, it we still didn't have enough room to bring everything with us. So we still have a chest freezer here that we need to bring over and it's still full of food. So yeah, we haven't gone grocery shopping in a while, but we're like out of fruits. Completely. I should have got apples while I was there. I wasn't thinking about it. The kids have some apples lost though, so they can eat that. And then I got them bananas and we got chicken nuggets. And anyways, you get the point. Like we need to do a really big grocery shop. Okay. A new scooper. This one was only like a dollar and it's like a pretty heavy duty plastic. Like it's not going to be flimsy, you know? So I was pretty pleased with it. They had another one there that was like a really pretty blue color for like five bucks, but I'm like... I'm scooping cat poop. I don't need to spend $5 for a pretty scooper. 
that I'm going to put in cat poop. I'll take the $1 one as long as it's sturdy. That's like the most important thing. And then I got a new litter mat. These are fantastic for catching the litter that's on your cat's feet or if they dig, it'll come out on this. And then you can just take it outside and shake it really well. So these are about four to five bucks, but I think they're really worth the money. A uh, new pack of toothbrushes because we need these. And because I'm not bringing my old toothbrush, I'm just going to throw it out. Um, yeah, we've been buying these for years. Love them. They're super cheap for a pack. I think it's like a dollar or two. So well worth the price. And then a pack for the kids. This is also a dollar. And then some toothpaste. This is my current favorite toothpaste. It's from Crest 3D White and it's Arctic Fresh and it really keeps your breath nice and fresh, which mine is not because I did not have a toothbrush or toothpaste at the new house. We forgot to bring it yesterday and I'm smelling funky. I'm here at the old house to take a shower, get some clean clothes on because I didn't bring any of that. It wasn't even on my radar and it should have been. All we did yesterday was move heavy furniture. So then I also found these and I swear they're like urinal cakes for litter boxes. And again, litter box is going to be upstairs on the main floor because we don't have a basement at the new house. So it's going to be right off from the kitchen. So I was like, we will try it. They're Citrus Magic Pet Odor Fresh. Future Kristen here. These work so well. I would highly recommend them. I've had one in my litter box for almost a week now. It's doing fantastic. There are no odors. I mean, of course, it stinks when the cat first does his business, but like a few minutes later, you're not smelling anything at all. At the old house, they're in the basement, and the basement is only good for storage. Like, we didn't really hang out down there other than like doing laundry, so we didn't really care because the smell never came up, you know? So, anyway, it's one paw per week. You put one in the litter box, and it's supposed to keep it fresh, and it just makes me think of a urinal cake for a cat box, but we will try it. And then more toothbrush, toothpaste for the kids. And then, I didn't mean to buy this. I put this in my cart to remind myself to go buy a big box of um, Arm & Hammer baking soda. Well, not even that's an Arm & Hammer. And I, it was in the line, and then I was like, crap, I never went over to the grocery section to get one, so I just bought this anyways. But you sprinkle it inside the litter box, and the baking soda helps eliminate the smell of, you know, the cat box. Uh, but keep in mind that baking soda is baking soda is baking soda. So just getting a cheap box of baking soda for the litter box and sprinkling it in every now and then is going to do the same thing as giant buying this for four bucks. Okay. So wasn't one of my wisest purchases, but I didn't want to get a line to run back and get more. I've done this before when we lived in our trailer, I used actual baking soda and it does work. Um, so I didn't mind to buy this one in particular. I meant to be actual baking soda, but it is what it is. And then the the boys don't really play anymore. And when I mean boys, I mean my cats. They're getting older. Like I said, they're like seven years old. They don't really play too much anymore. But occasionally, they get like a burst of energy. And they do like catnip, which I have some catnip here I need to bring. I was looking for catnip at the store. And it was super expensive. And I wanted like the spray catnip because it's not messy, but it has the same effect. But they didn't have any. So these are little catnip balls. And I thought being at a new house, like, like maybe they would like having something to play with like i don't know they don't really, occasionally like i said they'll get a burst of energy and play but these are infused with catnip smell and so i just thought maybe it would be nice for them okay now let's get into the clothing because that's the fun part in my opinion i got some stuff for spring and summer um i got myself some new underwear these basic black thong and then this one i thought was cute it says crush on you and i just like the color And if I can get it all untwisted, but that's what that looks like. And there's the words. They had a lot of like all lace thongs and I'm just kind of over that. Like I've had my phase where I used to get all lace thongs. They're super cute and comfortable, but they don't hold up in the wash. And I need non-fussy clothes. I, I don't need to have things that are delicate. I need to go in by themselves. I need to have like a special bag or be dry cleaned. Like that ain't me, okay? And I need to be able to throw it in the wash and go. And if it ends up with my jeans, I don't need the button on my jeans ripping holes in my lace underwear. So, hmm, I'm kind of over all that. I don't, I don't even mess with it. So, they had some cute ones if you guys are interested in lace thongs, but it ain't for me no more. 
and then i just randomly found this it's a two-piece set and i thought it'd be so comfortable for pajamas at our new house i have a large bedroom with a large closet which i've been in my old house for six years this summer and it is the smallest closet of life <laughs> my husband and i shared it and we had our dressers stuffed and again we shared our dressers so i'm unpacking at the new house and i'm like wow all of our shirts between the two of us hang in the closet and there's more space in the closet to hang more shirts and our dressers are empty because all of our shirts fit in the closet <laughs> so like we have our you know our pant drawer is still our pants drawer and like things you don't have to hang like that but like our shirts all go in the closet and i'm like wow we have empty drawers and i'm like i'm claiming one for pajamas i do not have a pajama drawer and i've got some pajamas but they get mixed in with everything else and i'd forget about them i've got like two or three pairs so when i see these i don't know if they're supposed to be like outerwear or pajamas but they're super soft they're really cute there's a black tie-dye look and let's see, are they from Intimates? It just says two-piece set from No Boundaries. So maybe it's from the teenage section, section. I'm not sure. It does have pockets. Um, this is kind of like a crop top, which is not really my thing. I don't think I'd wear it out of the house personally. We'll see. But just for like lounging in the house and sleeping, so cute. I was like, I'm getting myself pajamas. I now have a drawer for pajamas. I'm getting some pajamas. Because normally I just wear like tank tops and like my bike shorts to sleep in or my underwear and a shirt because I didn't have a space for pajamas. And like I said, the ones that I did have would get mixed in with everything and I would forget about them. And then I got this, I thought it was really pretty. It's just a little uh, nightgown, a little lacy in the back. I liked the floral pattern. The older I get, the more I'm liking florals. I used to hate them when I was younger. Um, it has to be very specific type of florals, like this kind of look I like. Um, and especially if it's a floral on like a black back, a black background, I'm really liking that, but I just thought these were really pretty. So a little something lacy there to sleep in. Uh, and then I also got the cat some new collars. So I got this one for Banjo, our black cat, the one who is kind of a hard ass. Like he's great with our immediate family, like my husband and I and the boys and my dad. <laughs> he likes my mom too, but he loves my dad that's pretty much sums up the people that he loves everybody else he may or may not attack when they come to the door and i just felt like a spiked collar just <laughs> suits his personality it's leather and spiked and i'm like mm -hmm. he's like freaking bouncer at the front door gonna kick anybody out of the house that he doesn't approve of like he's literally chased people out of the house before and then oliver our little scaredy cat just need a new collar he's really bad about scratching at these and they get all frayed and fluffy looking and then we gotta replace them but Angel doesn't mess with his he's just like whatever like he's got a green one on right now and it still looks fine and he's worn it for probably two years now the one that oliver has like he has to get a new collar every couple months because he just scratches at them and shreds them up though being at a new house i mean they are indoor cats but being at an, and they are microchipped <laughs> with my phone number which has not changed but being at a new house it doesn't smell like them it's going to be an all new environment and i'm a little bit worried that they might try to get out because when we moved into what is now our old house they did try to escape and they escaped a couple times and we were lucky and got them back because a lot of times when the cats get out you don't get them back and we got them all back and then the longer we were here and the more the house not like them like they stopped trying to get out so i'm a little worried we're going to go through it all over again granted they are older now they said they're like seven years old now um but i figured having some new collars would be a good idea so and plus right now oliver has on a red collar and he's like an orangey colored cat and it kind of blends in and i could see if he got out some of you might see him and think oh he's just a stray because they might not notice his collar because it kind of blends in with his fur so i thought maybe a nice pop of teal somebody would notice that and be like oh that's somebody's pet you know and then banjo with the spikes hopefully somebody would notice that he's a black cat so the black leather might blend in but it's got the spikes on it so hopefully um he would be noticeable he would probably whoop anybody's ass that came anywhere near them anyways and then i found this dress and how stinking cute is this i like the little tie here you guys aren't getting the full effect of it here in the car but i will do a little try on portion so you guys can see it um the dress was like just about ten dollars like 9.98 and i thought that was so cute for summer it's like a pair of sandals so stinking cute the uh, two-piece set was also right about ten dollars and so was the uh, nightgown that i got so that is everything for this haul oh i also got a litter box you guys want to see that it's a litter box it's got a lid to it so 
you know, they can do their business. Um, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new, I hope you decide to take the time to check out my channel, maybe subscribe, and you know, you can hang out in the comments. So, you know, go talk to me in the comments because I normally respond. It might take me a few days, but I normally respond. And that's gonna be it. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and hope you guys have a great day.